Okay, the latest requests that I've been getting are for a power interval class, a true Tabata class. Uh, so that's a 2010 format. We do 20 second intervals, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and we go through that interval eight times. So that's one round or one Tabata. Um, today, I think I have seven rounds set up. So we'll do about five minutes of warming up. We'll go through our seven rounds of Tabata, and each one of those will take about five minutes because the music is set up to actually, um, you know, say go and stop, and so it'll give us about a minute in between each interval. So about five minutes, so that'll take about 40, 45 minutes, and then we'll do some cool down at the end, and then we're done. So 45 to 50 minutes. Uh, I've got a couple sets of weights over here. I'll kind of play it by ear depending on what I feel like doing. I probably will have them both ready to go the whole time. I've also got a mat. That's all you need is weights and a mat. A lot of body work in this, a lot of body weight stuff in this one. Okay? So we'll go ahead and start the music. I'm just looking at my, um, my list of what we're going to do with today. So about five minutes warm up, and then I will tell you what the exercises are going to be, and we'll go ahead and get started. So here we go. And you decide how high or low you want everything to be. If I'm jumping and you don't feel like jumping, I'll try to remember to show you as many options as next as I can. Three, two, one, work. This way, this way. Wait a minute, wrong song. <laughs> wrong song. We need this one. Here's the one. <laughs> that was a working song, so that's why you were here. All right. Okay, deep breath up and hit. Exhale. And push. Good. All right. 
March.
kick, lunge back, one leg, kick, lunge back, kick, lunge back. No weight, so that you've got your hands free for balance. Exercise two, we'll bend over, pick up those weights, bent over row. Try to flatten the back, find that straight line in your back, neutral neck, so you don't want to have the neck tough, you don't want to have the neck arched. So you're pulling those hands into your hips, not the chest. Okay? Now quick drink of water. Keep your weights nearby, but not underneath your feet, so you don't want to slam on that foot. You don't want to land on that weight on your stage. Now quick drink of water. You got about 20 seconds to keep going. Once again, when you're kicking, when you lift and kick that right leg, make sure the left knee doesn't lock out. So you don't want to let that knee get pulled along with the kicking leg. Okay? Brace in that standing leg. Okay, slow it down. So it'll be all right. Three, two, kick. one. Work. Kick. Lunge. Kick. Kick. And you can go whatever speed you want. If you want to slow it down, make it a bigger lunge, you can do that. If you want to stay with music like I am, you can do that. your head up as you bend over. Even when you're bent over in that row, you're keeping your head above your heart. Ready? Three, two, one, work. Row. Left leg with kick. And a second right here. Again, reaching out with your foot, touching my hand. Decide how much you love. Lunge as much as you want to. Just try to make sure that front knee stays behind your toe and your front heel stays on the floor. Reach way back with that Three, left leg. Two, one, three. Okay, good. Those weights. Then show the row. Three, two, one, work. Here we Bye. 
Shavasana. Holding the weights by the middle, swinging it between your knees. Bringing the weight upward. Swing, bring it upward. Snap those hips. Squeeze that butt. Make sure your knees don't lock. A lock knee goes like that. Don't lock those knees. Soften those knees. Belly button, hold them tight. Trying not to arch your back. Don't arch your back, okay? That's exercise one. It's basically a squat with weight in your hand. Number two, you'll pick up your other leg. And we'll do a set of triceps kickbacks. So by the time we're done, we'll have four sets of these. Okay? All right, so let's grab a drink. In about 20 seconds, we'll get started. You need one weight to start with. Once again, you're going to hold that weight in the middle. Those of you that have got a kettlebell swing with me, you know what that looks like. It looks like you're getting ready to hike a football, and then as you bring the weight forward, you snap those hips, and it bumps that weight upward. Don't bring it way up in the sky. Just snap it up in front of you. Right? Here we go. Three, two, one, work. Snap. 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 Three, two, one, break. Get your other way.
your step. Because we're going to do four fast jacks, four slow jacks. So the four fast jacks are one, two, three, four, or you can go one, two, three, four. And then the four slow jacks are four, three, or four, three. Pick your version, all right? So either one leg at a time or both feet together. Four fast jacks, four slow jacks. All right? We'll take a one weight. We'll take the knee, knee to the biceps. Touch everything out. Knee biceps, touch everything out. So it's opposite arm, opposite leg, opposite arm, opposite leg. I think that my left first, we can do either one first. It really doesn't matter which one you start with. Okay? 15 seconds, we'll get started. Now, if you like, if you're a button for punishment and you want to hold a weight for the jacks, you can do that. And that way you don't have to keep bending over and picking them up. All right, so it'd be four, three, two, one, four, which is how I'll do it, okay? On the buttons for punishment. Three, two, one, we work. Four, three, two, one, slow. Four, three, two, one. All right, once again, fast. And if you go faster than me, that's fine, you just keep track. Three, two, one, break. All right, good. Hang on this weight. Start with my right arm, left knee, everything touches out. Right arm, left knee, touch everything out. Three, two, one, work. Up, up, up. Everything meets in the middle. Meets in the middle. You come across your body with your leg. Cross your body with your arm. Three, two, one. All right, good job. Four jacks fast, four jacks slow. We're about halfway through. Three, two, one, work. Four, three, two. Two. Okay, get your mat out. 
Uh, you don't need any of these weights right now. Right? Actually, we're done with the weights. Completely done with the weights. Spread out your back. The first exercise is actually still vertical. You're still up. We call it hot pepper or fast feed or something like that. What you're trying to do, it's for agility, is you're trying to tap the mat with your feet. Tap, 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 tap. And you can go as slow or as fast as you want to go. As high impact or as low impact as you want to go. That's exercise one. Exercise two, we will do push-ups. So we can do them on the floor if you want. You can do them on the wall if you want. You can do them on a cushion, on the couch, rather. Uh, a bench, anything like that. A chair, wherever you want to go. I'll go down to the floor, but it means you're getting up and down if you want to come with me, okay? So if you're okay with getting up, you've got 10 seconds to do it. Go ahead and do that. Otherwise, uh, find a chair or a couch or something that you can do um, modified push-ups on, okay? And I'm probably going to do mine. Oh, no, let's see. Okay. Fast piece, starting with those toe taps. Ready? Three, two, one. Stay on the mat. That's 
the good news, okay? All right, exercise one, mountain climbing. If you're up, if you can't get on the floor, you just talk this for a second. All right? So your options are mountain climbers on the floor, or what we call foothill climbers up on a chair, so it's not quite as hard. Um, if you're doing mountain climbers, you can either do them on your arms or on your elbows. So if being on your wrists or your hands bothers you, you can do these on your elbows as well. Um, what you're trying to do is bring your knee underneath you. Don't make the mistake that I always see of people jumping up and down in the air, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is not how you do a mountain climber. It is not a, a hop up and down. It's not a vertical exercise. It's your knee underneath your body. All right? And if you're on your elbows, again, you're pulling your knee underneath your body as best you can. You don't have as much clearance. It's a lot harder. You won't get your knee as far in. That's okay. Okay? So that's exercise one. And then exercise two will come down on your stomach. And we're doing the Superman. So you're flying toward the wall that you're looking at. Don't crank your neck up high. If you want to, add legs, you can. But if you have back issues of any kind, Think twice before you add legs. So think about floating and reaching toward the opposite wall. Okay? Those are your two exercises. We're starting with mountain climber. Okay. So grab some water. Hang on here for a second. Get about 10 seconds. Okay. Two more rounds of both rounds on the floor. Three, two, one, 
Breathe, you guys, deep breath in, not just deep breath out. We don't want to blow all your air out and become hypoxic. Inhale. Three, two, one, break. Okay, bring yourself back. Rest. Last set. Last round. Woo. Three, two, one, go. Not one. Oh, 
nothing that's getting out by now is your shoulders, and I totally understand that. Totally get that. Three, two, one, three. Okay, once again, turn. Really think about engaging your abdominals when you're in that plank. Get a really pull up. Here we go. Up there, Three, two, pull one, work. Both pose. seconds is all I need out of you guys. That's it. And then we will three, two, one, work. There we go. Lift up those toes. Woo. Lift up those hips. Down. Lift up those knees again. Yeah. Engage those abdominals. Tuck your tail down a little bit. You're done. Nice job. All right, let's go ahead and put on some stretching music here, shall we? So go ahead and face me, bring your feet out forward. I'm gonna go ahead and stretch those legs out to the front. All right, Ooh, right here, sit up nice and tall, deep breath up. Exhale towards your toes. Slide those hands back in. Deep breath. Inhale up. Exhale forward. Slide those hands back. Deep breath up. Exhale forward. One more time. Deep breath up. Exhale forward. Take that right leg, cross it over your left, and hug your right leg with your left arm and look right. Now, if you have back issues, it's going to be a small turn. If you're able to, you can try it bigger. Your back will let you know usually, but just be careful. If you have back issues, you shouldn't be twisting. If you are twisting, open up that back shoulder, that right shoulder, open up that chest. One. 
Lift that leg straight in the air. I'm behind my leg, just below the knee. <coughs> just above the knee, actually. I'm gonna bring my leg in toward me as much as I can. Now bring that heel down on the other knee and lift both legs and give me that hip stretch. Yeah. 